All right, Capricorn, I'm trying a whole bunch of new settings so that I can eventually get the <laughs> aspect ratio here correctly. If I start licking my like lip a lot, because I tried to eat a bagel and, it, and I bit my lip. So I might, I might mess with it a little bit. Anyway, hi Capricorn. Welcome to Horoscope-ish. I'm your girl, Lindsay. This is a spiritual entertainment channel, y'all. So take what resonates, leave what does not, but overall have fun. And if we go down, we will come all the way back up. So what do we have for Capricorn? I'm using my way of the Panda Tarot deck. <laughs> the magician, okay. Everyone just realize that they can do whatever they really set their minds to. And they have everything they need to do it. Here's the problem. <sighs> I always want to go where to start. Waiting for divine inspiration, perhaps. Or, while you're sitting there manifesting new things, or thinking, coming up with your plans, you're like... A new opportunity presents itself, which may put a damper in your plans. Okay, we're gonna start this entire way with all aces. Okay. Wow. All right, so there's this new opportunity to just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so much love. <coughs> you can pour so much love into this. New, you know what? And isn't that the best? Where the best products come out anyway? Like the best, uh, the best, the best comes out when your heart's invested in it. Um, and you know, it's like your heart's like, we can do this. But there's some other opportunities for money making that uh, are the challenges. Like you still, still, yeah, still trying to make money. All right, in the recent past, we have the Two of Cups. So that's nice. Whoa. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. this two of cups right and it didn't go so well yeah, it didn't go so well maybe y'all didn't have the same vision the same dreams just like you kind of had to move on some someone released somebody else okay I don't think it sucks all that much really feel it. It's like, yeah, th that feels like a mutual break. Um, judgment. Oh, well done, Cappy. You've healed from it. You're like, oh, this isn't a big deal. You know those moments in life when you're like, it doesn't really work out the way you think it's going to work out, but at the same time, you're not hard on yourself at all about it. Like, you're not being hard on yourself about this. Yeah, word. It just, it feels so mutual slash like, oh, you know, maybe not, maybe not. Let's move on, you know? And you're not being hard on yourself about it right now. Got it, got it, got it. Aww. Just a reminder to be happy, Capricorn. Be happy. Do the things. Do do you. Because you shine. You're self-sustaining. Somebody needs to hear that. Um, not Cappy, though. <laughs> Talk about the sun though. Gabby's <laughs> like, that's true, let's talk about the sun. Ooh. <laughs> There's competition for your energy. <laughs> that's nor naturally, and that's completely understandable. People don't got what you got, Capricorn, so they want to work with you. Nine of swords in the environment. Okay. Aww. Mm. 
your environment is worried about you and sad. Our wishes have been blown to the wind. That's like faith and wishes. Ooh, you're protected. Archangel Michael just popped up. Oh, you being guided through this. People may be worried about you, Capricorn, that you're sliding into some kind of psychosis or something. Um, not with that, not with that sun card. You're too happy. There's just competition over you. That's it. And it's like, why nine of swords? King of pentacles, four of wands, king of wands, and the page of cups. seem to be worried about this past relationship okay they're like just say you're sorry <laughs> but it was mutual yes I know all right well like it was too new you guys knew each other too young or something you guys were so young when you met and then like when you paired up you know, it brought you so much. So if people are worried about your finances, I don't know why they'd be worried about your finances. Like without them, you're you're gonna you're, ah. You two are perfect for each other. Please say sorry. <laughs> okay, that's your environment. <laughs> what do you not see coming? quote things that I have not seen. All I've seen is the Godfather. That's what I got from, yeah. It's not verbatim, but. <laughs> All right, the tower. Oh, every time I see the tower card in the panda deck, it's like, baby, you're like lightning in a bottle. Yeah, you know how to, you know how to catch lightning, man. Like when something is destroyed, you hold the power of whatever destroyed it. Yeah, that's called learning. That's optimism too, an epiphany. What was destroyed was destroyed divinely. And you catch the drift, Capricorn. Cappy catches the drift. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You're connected. You don't see this coming. You don't you don't see it coming that oh my gosh, that's so cute. You're questioning it right now, aren't you? Oh my gosh. Mmm. Lord in here. Uh that's too major arcana. I think you have a little bit more divine inspiration than you think, boo-boo. guidance here is to is this supposed to be in the reverse though okay we got this page of swords in the reverse don't be curious oh stop watching stop watching something somehow somehow you don't need the inspiration or you don't need the knowledge like you you've already got it Oh gosh, I've been there before where it's like I start reading up on things and you know trying to understand something better and <laughs> the truth was in within my vessel the whole time like we have we have all the answers within us. So, yeah, stop stop why stop stop <laughs> stop getting curious. You actually are quite knowledgeable. So, Like the things that you do and the things that you say, well done. 
You don't need to read up on anything. <gasps> Someone's afraid to use their throat chakra, probably because of, um, you know, having perhaps grown up in a place where, well, I don't know about grown up, but your environment is like, what are you doing? So you're like trying to find answers. We're so worried about you. You're slipping into psychosis. Like you're, you're taking these dreams seriously. Yeah. Something's leading you. Ooh. Quick communication is going to come to you. You're going to, you're going to hear something. Or you're going somewhere. What's the eight of wands? <laughs> well, to recap this, or just to like get the gist of this. Um, aww. Yeah, you. You're gonna be traveling based on news. Okay, so there's all these people talking around you. Okay, there's all these so news traveling. Mm -hmm. News is gonna travel quick about you being happy the way things are, and that seems quite logical. <laughs> you got a little bit uh, of information coming out about um, the way you move, but you are not, you are not struggling at all with, um, you know, taking control and um, taking control of your life. Seriously. King of Swords, Ten of Cups, dude, yeah. Seriously, you're committed to both a kid, a little one. Didn't you guys get something like this last time too? Oh my gosh. So, man, you are so, oh, I love that energy for you Capricorn. Mm. If you don't know this already, people are talking about how you got it. You got it. Oh, somebody's worried about what people are saying? Right on. No, don't be worried about it because honestly, um, they know you're following a much higher connection uh, and that you're good the way you are. Snaps, Capricorn. You good. You are good. But yeah, yeah. News is gonna travel very fast. People around you are talking about how good you are and how good you are. They're good, totally good. Oh, well done. I love you, Cappy. Bye, babes.